all right mini max m2 is available on olama today is 30th of october 2025 and in this video we're gonna test out mini max m2 using olama now mini max m2 was released on 28 october 2025 and you can see that it's a mini model that has been built for max coding and agentic workflows we're going to see one or two examples of that but it's a mixture of experts model with two 30 billion total parameters but with just 10 billion active parameters it's built for elite performance and coding and agentic task with just 10 billion activated parameters it provides a sophisticated end-to-end -to -end tool use performance expected from today's leading models we can have a look at the benchmark we can see that for the sw bench verified we have 69.4 percent multi sw bench we have 36.2 terminal bench 46.3 artifacts bench 66.8 we have tau square bench 77.2 gaia text only 75.7 it's pretty amazing browse comp we have 44.0 we have fin search global fin search comp global you have 65.5 now you can see that it is the first or the top among the open source models and it's catching and giving a pretty good competition for the closed source models such as gemini claude and gpt5 this is available on olama and as we know we have olama introduced olama cloud in which we can run very big models such as this one which has 230 billion parameters on the cloud and your system doesn't have to bear the weight of all this model now for getting started with olama we already know that if you go to olama.com click on download and since i'm on my windows i can go ahead and uh, download for windows once i have this downloaded the next thing that i need to do is to go ahead and install the exe file that i have once we install this we're gonna go ahead and start up Olama. So this is a new interface for Olama and I'm gonna just close this. I'm gonna go to a command prompt, a CMD, and then I'm gonna go and run Olama. We're gonna see a list of different commands that you can put. Start, create, show, run, stop. I've created tons of videos on Olama on what these things are. But let's go ahead and see the, uh, the list of models that I have. Now, just 12 hours earlier, I downloaded this Minimax M2 Cloud which is this model that you're talking about. How to get started, it just run Minimax M2 Cloud. Now, mind you that this is not running on my local system. It's running on the cloud. So the model is getting started on the cloud. It's getting connected to olama.com in which I have an account and uh, it's connected to the cloud. Now it's free for use till I think the 9th of November 2025. You can use this for free. Let's go ahead and check this out. So what is the capital of India? So you can see that it has the thinking mode as well. The capital of India is New Delhi, uh, which is a part of a national capital territory of Delhi. So we have this running it works so let's go ahead to github copilot and if you go to copilot or uh, click here to pick up a model go to manage models and then click on olama you'll be able to select the models that you have i'm going to select max mini max m2 that's selected and click on ok so in the drop down we can select the mini max m2 here and that's done now we can go ahead and select any file for example and say explain me this file so you can see that minimax m2 has been used which is running on olama which is running on the cloud olama cloud so i'll read the content of uh, main2.py to explain the contents to you so you can see that it gives it reads the file main2.py and gives the output gives the explanation of the code overview is a lang chain structured output demonstration we can see the key components which is a pydantic model here there's a tool function agent creation and it gives a pretty good explanation of what this code does so as an another example uh, let's go ahead and open up a new one a train leap station at 60 and another leaves station B at 120 kilometers away and 40 kilometers per hour towards A. When will they meet? Explain step by step. There's a logical reasoning. It should be able to do this. So it gives the answer of the train will meet after 1 hours and 12 minutes. So if you take this and put it into chat GPT, we can see the same answer, which is, which is 1 hour and 12 minutes which seems correct here. So in this way, you can use Minimax inside of GitHub Copilot, inside of VS 
code editor now if you're looking for inexpensive and good gpus you can go ahead to get.runpod.io slash pe48 when you go ahead and sign up for the first time you can get a credit random credit between between five dollars and five hundred dollars you can go ahead and claim your bonus i use runpod for my daily work as you can see there are different gpu that you can use and it's really amazing the cost starts from 0.25 dollars per hour and it goes as high as three dollars per hour for 141 tv gpu so you can test this gpu if you like you can go ahead and check out the next videos on my channel and i will see you there thank you